uh, I'm not so quite sure uh, what to show you but here is all the energy is going now into this single cap uh, and uh, I have uh, these three light bulbs to uh, uh, act as a load and if I unscrew two of them you can see one is and the voltage is uh, going up but at the same time the amperage draw gets higher and uh, so uh, I'm now testing it with uh, three lights to see just what uh, what's going to become of it. Uh, that's yesterday morning uh, when I still had the batteries hooked up. It seems like a gel battery doesn't uh, answer to the charge of the Bedini coil. I'm not sure, but uh, that's what I found out. Anyway, um, and inside here is nothing else but a light bulb, my dry battery, and that's the old gel battery which is uh, disconnected. You can see the air, and everything is going out to the cap. Uh, this is just to. Uh, I don't have any heating on out here in the shed, so uh, that's just to keep the battery nice and warm. Uh, it prefer prefers to be in an environment which is uh, uh, around 25 degrees Celsius, and it's gone down a little bit. Uh, it use use usually stays around um, 30 degrees in the incubator box. Anyway, um, uh, the speed for the moment is uh, uh, hard to uh, about 50 turns revolutions per minute and uh, when it uh, was self-running, it uh, for several days, uh, as you can see here, uh, the speed were at the most 50 revolutions per minute. I um, I didn't write up the amperage draw, which uh, is uh, bugging me, but. Uh, as you can see here down, I have uh, uh, tried it with a higher speed, but uh, uh, this 24 hour I will be monitor monitoring it with uh, uh, these three light bulbs, that big cap, and uh, the voltmeter on the outside is barely moving, uh, but um, hopefully the spikes will uh, go into the cap, and uh, if someone can uh, tell me what's going on here, why it's drawing less, while it's producing more work, uh, please do so. Uh, um, speaking of energy, I, for some years ago, a friend of mine asked me if I couldn't join in an exhibition. Um, where can I put this? Uh, I'll add it. And uh, I said, sure, but I don't have any, anything left uh, ready. So uh, I had to make some some sculptures for that, and this is what I call waste of energy, uh, referring to 
what uh, happens to man in the morning. It's a bloody waste of energy. Uh, anyway, <laughs> just want to make another update. So, uh, it's for, for several, uh, one, two, uh, almost three days. It was self running. I, I don't, I can't. Um, um, some may say that it's the slowness of the lead acid battery, but uh, um, the voltage drop is uh, quite steady, uh, and it drops uh, two hundreds of volts uh, in uh, genom snitt. I don't know what to how to translate genom snitt average perhaps um, at the most it has been uh, 500 of a volt but uh, the most common is 300 of a volt uh, that it's uh, going down and uh, as you can see the amperage draw is uh, quite steady and uh, the speed as well and the switch is switching well there's nothing more to it um, the idea I have for all this Bedini uh, thing is to uh, hopefully get a running system and uh, with uh, together with the solar panels and uh, here's my sun tracking device soon to be uh, we'll see if we can get uh, some movement uh, is it on or off? On there, I think. And uh, uh, by uh, well, anyway, it works. It's a light-seeking robot uh, with a relay battery windshield wiper motor down under and uh, and here's another funny thing this um, small solar panel is rated at 6 watts you can see there but uh, no it, it can't light a light, uh, lot more than one one watt of light so I'm uh, Confused. I'm not a big uh, electrical engineer, but um, anyway, um, Sweden signing out. <laughs>